Hello and welcome again to another edition of Princess on a Budget. And today, we're going to be moving away from our usual topics of saving money and finding you the best deals in town. And we're going to be reacting to a video. It is quite unfortunate po that one of our kababayan has become viral in her video uh, introducing her as one of uh, the union leaders in an interview with CBC. In this video, Filipina... Um, with her name mentioned in the interview was citing her opinion on how how is the government of Canada handling the support towards the workers. So we are not going to be um, dissecting her opinion. So everybody is entitled to her opinion. But in a way, this video is going to save you and your face just in case you are asked to represent or talk about a difficult topic in an interview. So basically, this is just how do we speak our opinion, basic, basic stuff. Um, she's very privileged to be chosen to represent a population, to give her voice. And unfortunately, I would say based on what the comments and the opinion of the majority of the community parang negatively taken ang kanyang mga sinabi. But, moving forward, how can we avoid those situations? Maybe it has something to do with the pandemic, the problems that we are facing right now, but it seems like the people are not taking in um, the views and the opinions of other people very well. Um, taking, take uh, for instance, po, Coco Martin said something and people flipped. Um, they're not very happy with what he had to say. Believe it or not, there are ways to say what you wanted to say and air out your opinion. Even if you had to take the more unpopular opinion and still be gracious about it. So I'm going to be lining up some of the tips since I've been using therapeutic communication for 5-6 years now in my work. And I have, to, I have to be honest with you, I am caught up in those very critical, embarrassing situation. And it seems to be that these four things that I have learned in my career and profession worked really well in helping me overcome those really embarrassing and difficult conversations. So here is tip number one. Tip number one is preparation. Nothing beats a well-prepared person for a conversation especially if you have a topic that's very difficult and heavy so number one is still prepare in case of that ate the filipina who is representing a union talking about how is canada helping the workers and the working group um, it is a vital part of being an interview we that you prepare by asking what are the questions that are going to be included in your interview in fact, it is encouraged that you ask whoever is interviewing you a um, way you can prepare and you can research. And there is nothing wrong with asking the list of possible questions. So number one, number one, prepare. Number two, and I would say this is my most favorite tip, is you have to learn to be comfortable with hanging out with people who have different views and opinions compared to you. It can be kind of uncomfortable to be uh, challenged by other people. Pero, sa totoo lang po, your view of the world widens when you have a clash of ideas and opinion. So, it is quite important to educate yourself and make yourself grow by hanging out with people that have the opposite viewpoint as you. Say this, how about if I say the opposite of that? How are you going to challenge that? So, it exercises your brain and again, it prepares you a strong or stronger comeback just in case somebody asks you a question challenging your opinion. Third tip that I can possibly give you would be control your emotion. This is kind of hard considering that we are going through a lot of difficult times, uncertainties. So it is important to be in control of our emotion because of course we have that human factor going on and we cannot deny that. And we cannot say that, Bakit ko naman hindi papakita yung totoo kong nararamdaman? However, how effective is our communication kapag na-overpower na ng galit, ng poot, 
ng paghihinag pes or para magsalita. It is an effective way to convey uh, our opinion or our emotion, our message. However, it kind of limits you once you are overcome with that emotion or strong feeling. So, as much as possible, try to control your emotion. Try to go direct to your point. Lastly, this is one of, again, my favorite tip. Be ready to admit that you are not ready to answer the question and you don't have enough information at the moment if that is the truth. And nothing beats being honest and upfront. Because it, uh, it builds trust. Although some people say, oh, you're not ready. Or, or, are you supposed to be looking after in my particular situation? Are you supposed to be looking after my dad? You don't know what's happening. But the moment you lie to them about something, the lie becomes a bigger lie. It turns into another lie. And overall, your credibility will suffer and the person will hate you more. So it's better to just be upfront and honest about things that you can't answer at the moment. don't have the answers right now and you're not ready to answer that particular question right now. Say that I will read, the, read on it or find out later and I'll let you know. Right? And in particular situations like interviews, if you don't have the information, just say, I don't have the inter uh, I don't have the information that you need from me right now. But yeah, this is an interesting point that you have um, mentioned, and we'll have to find out more information about it later on. It is true that it is very hard to air out your comment, your opinion, where everyone seems to have a take on everything, and everything becomes a permanent um, record. And everyone seems to have that entitlement to bash or hate someone. Uh, it is our responsibility though, people who are being interviewed and giving out our opinion, to practice our due diligence of preparing and making sure that we are giving accurate information, straight to the point answers to the benefit of what we are really aiming for. So if your goal is to enlighten our people na we are being looked after, we have really good government, then support that. And if you feel that the government is lacking, don't forget to acknowledge what they're doing really good. And just, just say that, you know, they really are very strong with making sure that the kids are looked after by adding more money for their funds. However, it seems like we needed more reassurance in making sure that jobs will be available, that there will be funds for families to kind of recognize that efforts are being made, if that's the truth, and then supplement that by the things that you want to happen. So there, there are many, many ways of saying what you really want to say without losing your grace and kind of losing your faith. So that's all for today, and I hope you have a good day. And I hope you visit my other videos. And again, number one, prepare, prepare, prepare. Thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.